We're back with the Alienware laptop. Now, the way you're seeing these videos is one after the next. Uh, last time I made a video on this was April of 2017. It's now July of 2017. What happened? Well, in the last video I upgraded it to Windows 10 and I've used the machine, shall we say, sparingly over the last couple of months. Uh, Lex Marks was here fixing the AC and he was also here for my birthday. I had it down here. It was working, if you call Windows 10 actually working. Uh, so I said, here, if you want a laptop to, to use instead of just your phone, feel free, because I don't care what's happening to it. So anyway, everything was working enough. The machine's fast enough. It could deal with Windows 10's bullshit. Until one day, I turned it on. I, I use it, uh, like I said, very sparingly here and there. I turned it on, and it booted up, and everything's going along just fine. And then it said that it can install Windows updates because the latest version of Windows 10 is not installed. And it needs to install that. Against my wishes, it did it anyway. I was going to shut it down, but it said, no, don't turn off your computer. No, don't do anything. You can't. Windows 10 owns you. And it sat there and proceeded to go ahead and upgrade itself to death, only to get the latest fucking updates for everything that won't matter. Now, the reason why it won't matter is because... At that point, I gave up, and I said, I'm just going to leave the fucking machine to run overnight. Let it do its shit, I'll check it the next day. So the next day, I go down to check on it. It's turned on, the lights and the little alien guy, the lights and the speakers, everything's on, but the screen is black, as you'd expect. Smack the keyboard, wiggle the touchpad, nothing. So I said, shit, I hope that the machine didn't shit itself. In fact, I think it went to sleep. I hope the machine didn't shit itself the last time, uh, you know, when it was left overnight. I hope the video card in it that I had shown you, I believe in the first video, didn't shit itself. And this is what I got, just a black screen. See, it's, it's on, it's doing its thing, and it just completely shit the bed. So now we're going to turn it off, and you'll see that my suspicions of it actually killing the machine were unfounded. We'll now power it on, and you will notice that after a couple of moments, bam, there's the screen. It comes up, it's going to go and start trying to boot... in a couple of moments and of course the Windows 10 disk is in there I'm sorry Windows 7 disk is in there because it came with it in there kind so that's gonna start up and do its thing and now it's gonna start loading Windows 10 so I was hoping by rebooting it like this that it would come up but no such luck it goes through this bullshit the screen goes black and it fucking stays there I didn't ask for it to update. I didn't want it to fucking update. Nothing. Don't need, don't want. It did what it wanted to rather than letting me, the user, decide what it should do. And that is simply not allowed in my book. The computer will do what I tell it to, not what it wants to do. And here's what it wants to do now. It's dead, Jim. It's dead. Or he's dead. So, it's time to put a proper operating system on here, Windows 7. Your question next is, what am I going to do when Windows 7 no longer has support? I'm going to keep using it for two, three, four years, like I did Windows XP after that dropped support. That's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to keep fucking using it. 
I'm sure there are going to be some diehard fans out there that will produce additional service packs and things like that, but eventually the market is going to get away from... Press any key. <laughs> eventually the market is going to get away from supporting Windows 7. And once that happens, then we're probably going to have to make a, a shift over to Linux because this uh, this won't do. Win Windows 10 is just out of the question. It got so... There's so much fuck goofery in Windows 10. I don't know if you can even tell how pissed I am about fucking Windows 10. There is so much fuck goofery in Windows 10 of all these tiles and all the shit. Same thing with Windows 8 when that came out. They tried to turn your computer into your fucking phone. And I'm not a proponent of that. I'm not going to stand for it. Absolutely not. The thing especially, especially that pissed me off about Windows 8 and 8.1, I, I put them in the same boat, okay? And Windows 10, because it's basically what Windows 8 should have been, is that whenever you wanted to actually do something with the computer, it would go to the desktop anyway and then load it up. For example, if you had Microsoft Word installed on it, and you had it, one of them little tiles in the quote-unquote metro interface they had, bingo, it would go to the desktop, then load Microsoft Word. So what's the point of the other shit? I don't need that. So I think this machine being a Dell derivative is going to sit here for an abnormally long time. I don't know why they do that, but they do. So we're just going to wait. I'll be back in just a moment when it comes up. There we go. Now it's continuing. For some reason, like I said, these machines, some of them would just sit there for... Some I've even seen on the order of like almost five minutes or so it seemed. Uh, really, really something. As far as why they sit there. and I've never gotten an answer as to why, nor do I really need to know. So, uh, one of these years, this will actually come up. It's not a problem with the hardware of the machine, like I said. Some of them are just slow. Um, the uh, hardware has been fully checked out using not only the onboard Dell or Alienware or whatever you want to call it uh, diagnostics, but also by third-party diagnostics. It even says Alienware, and that's because the disc in here is the one that actually came with it. My language is... Spanish, so I clicked English, but I'll set the keyboard to Spanish, so that way all the keys are fucked up and the at isn't on the two and all that kind of shit. So everything's good there. Install now, I'm not worried, I don't have any data on here. The screen just fucking shrunk. Just fucking shrunk. You saw that. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was about, but anyway... This is going to go ahead and install a proper operating system on this machine. I just want to get this running here. I don't know what it's going to possibly ask for next. Or what in the hell it's doing. I've gone as far as booting this disk, but never went this far. I just went to the, hi, this is Windows 7 page, screen, rather. Here we go. I accept. Next. Custom. And let's see. This has the system reserve partition. Then it has a 450 megabyte partition and the remainder. So we're going to do this the right way. We're just going to blow the entire fucking thing up. I'm not going to format it because that just takes forever. There's no data on here I need saved. So we're just going to delete all of these partitions. Because I don't need them. I just need one fucking partition with one operating system that, number one, just fucking works. How about that? There we go. Disk zero. All unallocated. 300 gig or 320 size down to whatever the math bullshit equals. And now we're going to have a real operating system on here. Yay, it's ready! 
Okay, default for the username and for the machine is obviously going to be Alienware. Duh. See that on the network and not know what the hell it is. Come on, who needs a fucking password? You don't need that shit. Now that, we are in the Eastern Time Zone, which is here. And the date is correct. The time is actually spot on. And now it's finalizing our settings. And just a couple of moments later, here it is, preparing your desktop. Now it looks like uh, we're going to need some Dervers. Unfortunately, I brought that kind. Because I knew we were going to need them. So, uh, yeah, it needs a video Dervers. That's for damn sure. All right, that's coming up. Let's shit. That came up incredibly too fast. Let us look at Device Mangler. See, it's got Alienwares. It's hacked, elevated, and we'll go to Device Mangler and see that it needs, well, just fucking everything: Ethernet, network, Nvidia stereo controller, PCI device, PCI simple communications controller, SM bus controller. And two unknown devices. Wonderful. We have on this flash drive two sets of Dervers. Here's an application. Always right click run as administrator. The latency on this flash drive is incredibly slow. So the latency is very high. So we'll see. Some of these launch, some of them don't the Alienware Command Center. So anyway, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and install all of the Dervers that I have, and we'll see if that gets everything up and running.